Hey everybody. Hello. Welcome to the beautiful Lost Lake Campground. We are up here in the Mount Hood National Forest, actually just a little bit outside of the National Forest, uh, outside the town of Hood River. And we are up at this uh, private campground that's up here. Uh, kind of a rough go to get in here. Uh, luckily with the 24 footer, it was pretty good. Um, but I would think if you had, I mean, they have spots for, I mean, we're in an 80 we're in foot pull, pull through. through, but I mean, some of those corners are pretty wide. So it's the first time we've ever had a pull through. So that was pretty cool. We just pulled it right through. Didn't have to do any backing, which is ideal because <laughs> I don't like to back. I could do it, but it's not my favorite thing in the world to do. Uh, the cool thing is here is today is the very first day that this campsite's opened after the whole COVID scare that we've been dealing with. Um, and so we are literally the only people in here at the yeah. moment that I can tell. You can pan around and there's, yeah. I mean, there's like... And I will. We can probably see, I don't know, five other spots right now and there's nobody here. Yeah, quiet as could be, mm -hmm. beautiful trees. Birds chirping. Um, funny part is it's supposed to be in the 90s today. So we're going to take uh, the paddle board down to the lake and uh, Kim's been jonesing to get on that for basically Since a year. Last year, over a year. Um, and then tomorrow it's supposed to pour. So uh, <laughs> welcome to Oregon. We're uh, hoping to see um, some decent weather, but even if it does rain, um, this is almost too hot for me. So uh, anyway, we hope you guys enjoy this video. This should be a pretty good one. Uh, this is one, like I said, we've been here one time before. We went, we were camping uh, at that point, uh, but this is just a beautiful campsite. And if you ever get a chance uh, to come up here to Lost Lake, uh, it's definitely worth the trip. If only you could smell it. Yeah. It smells amazing out here. It does smell it's amazing. nature. And the fact that it's not another single soul. <laughs> yeah. It's cool and kind of scary. Hey, Daisy says, let me down. You can see behind us, yeah. we got this. So here's our pull through. And behind us is our table, our fire pit. And you just got these giant trees. I mean, it's absolutely And it looks incredible. like our, our spot actually has a place for two different tent setups. Yeah. That there's there's little flat spots. Yeah, over there so, too. Yeah, That's right. so I think there's two. Yeah, so we'll show you guys around the camp. But uh, like I said, it's one of the best that we've been to um first time like i said with the rv and so this will definitely be on the list of places to keep coming back to as long as uh it doesn't get overcrowded that's the problem with this place yeah. normally in the summertime it's nuts so it's really a place if you're going to come i'd prefer i would suggest probably fall or spring now, of course winter time it's probably not you couldn't you even get, get up here, here. yeah uh up. spring and fall would be perfect though because you have less crowds uh, the only reason people come in the summer is because you got the river uh, or the lake there that you can swim in and stuff and so that's great but and it's only two hours from portland yeah so you get a lot of people a lot so. of locals yeah well show you around all right so one important thing to mention which i don't know that we did they do have water but uh no electricity so you either have to run off your batteries or off a generator so you gonna get the generator all hooked up and uh, at that point we should be self-sufficient and ready to go and if you're curious if you haven't seen some of our other videos, this is a Champion uh, generator, 3100 watt, uh, which is more than enough power to run the air conditioner and then basically anything else that we want to run all at the same time. Uh, we have buddies of ours that camp with us. They have a little Honda uh, 2000 watt, I believe, and uh, they have to have two in order to run all their stuff. I'm able to get this Champion generator for just about as much as it would cost you for one 2000 watt uh, Honda or Yamaha generator. So, so far so good. We've had it for a full year, used it, um, few times and just never had any problems with it getting started or running and doing what we needed to do. Hopefully that continues to be the case. All right, let's see. Don't let me down. Don't you let me down, little guy. I just told everybody how good you were. Here we go. Conditioner going, microwave going, all at the same time, no issues. Smells good out here, huh? Mm -hmm. We are down here at the lake now. Uh, Kim's gonna try to take out the paddle board, and um, it's a Friday afternoon, and we're gonna cross this little bridge here. They got a cool trail that you can hike around. They have all the boats out. Uh, boats you can rent. 
and then you can see they got a boat launch right there. And uh, this is the north site. We're north gonna, day use area. Yeah, north day use area. So we're going to try to go to the south day use area because this is kind of packed, uh, which we kind of expected being a Friday afternoon and it's 90 some degrees out. Yeah. And we don't get weather that hot very often. So when we do, uh, you're definitely going to get people um, coming out. So so here's the actual lodge. And you can actually rent uh, cabins and yurts. And you can actually stay in there. And they have a full store. Yeah, there's a store in there. Um, of course, now it's during COVID, of course. They've got it social distancing and stuff like that. So we're not going to deal with trying to go in there. But um, as you can see, not really any place to park. There's like... We have a good spot, uh, we have a down tree. This paddleboard we got, it's inflatable. Uh, so I've got it on the backpack. And hey, you never want to go on a long hike. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. I mean, it has to weigh 75 pounds. And uh, not anything that you would ever take a long way. And if you bit it, it would probably kill you. Oh gosh, this is not easy. Not, th not that I haven't tripped on with the GoPro before. Got the hose hooked up and as you can see that is pretty long i think it was 12 or 13 feet hey days you paddle boarding she shakes her head no. see you in about 20 25 minutes all right so about 10 minutes in and uh we're at 11 psi we got to get up to 14 to 18 and uh, I'm sure if I was in better shape it'd probably be a little bit easier but you got to stop and take breaks this thing will kill you uh, anyway so like I said probably if you're switching in between two people probably anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to get it pumped up uh, and then the fun part's going to be once we get it out we'll want to lug it up and then bring it back with us to the trailer so we can try to do it there otherwise it's just going to be a big muddy mess trying to uh, deflate it here in the dirt Hey, do us a favor and don't drown. All right, there she goes. Perfect day for paddle boarding. Very little wind and it's warm. Daisy's getting herself a little, getting cool off. Oh, baby girl. You finally on your paddle board again. How do you feel? Oh, she's standing. Now this is the life. You got some people out here with their dog. That's pretty cool. So the cool thing about this place is even if you don't have a canoe, a paddle board, a boat, or whatever they have them for rent here. Uh, in fact, Kim and I talked about why didn't we just rent a paddle board? Because <laughs> it took us uh, quite a bit of time and energy to set ours up. They probably charge like 10 bucks an hour uh, to rent one. Uh, last time we were here, we rented a little boat and we brought both of our uh, dogs with us when we had Snoopy still. And uh, that was a blast. So anytime we come out here now, it brings back some good memories of uh, those guys when they were puppies and younger and love this stuff. Daisy's back there having some fun, but not quite the same as uh, it was probably a good 10 years ago or so. So Kim and I both got our shot. Now we're going to put Daisy on it. Daisy, we'll see how she does. She does like, we took her snow sledding last year and she really loved that. See how she likes this. Good girl, Dave. She's good about steady and she's not wobbling. Oh. <laughs> Daisy, you did it. I can't believe it. It's like I had enough of this mess. Her foot got caught. I don't think she meant to jump. Yeah. Her foot got caught. myself in the water and it was 
be even colder than I thought it would be. Coming straight off the mountain, it is so cold. Kim said I had to show off my hair. <laughs> it's fantastic. How's it look? Just dandy. It's like Just forward dandy. in the front. <laughs> so how about this for a view? Picnic table, Mount Hood. Well, picnic table, Lost Lake, Mount Hood. Can't believe nobody's in that one. It's probably the perfect picnic table. And they got good access down to the water. Should have took this spot, darn it. All right, so our afternoon here at Lost Lake is done. We didn't get nowhere near enough time, a few hours, but we would have loved to have been here all day, but had to get the trailer and everything hooked up and only had a couple hours to enjoy the sun. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be uh, much poorer weather. The joys of motherhood. All right, so what'd you do? I forgot the hamburger buns. But and, we have hot dog buns. And? Oh, and the ketchup. And? And extra beer. And no. Um, anyway, go ahead, take a bite. Oh, oh I have. We no, have. No, take another one. But I we had hot dog buns, and so I just took the hamburger patties and I sliced them in half and then made them, put them lengthwise. Oh, so these are <laughs> hot burgers or what would you call? I don't know. Dog burgers. Dog burgers. Yeah, that's really easy. To do. <laughs> so one thing I've come to understand about my wife in the last couple years. Of camping, yeah, she's a pyro, <laughs> legitimate pyro. Her favorite thing is just starting fires. Not just starting them; it's keeping them going. Here, that's, that's my job. Have your passion fruit cider, pineapple. or whatever the heck pineapple, it is. Pineapple, passport, pineapple, passion fruit. Show everybody your cool uh, shirt. I am grouped in a jeep. That's cool. That's really cool. Fortunately, the Jeep can't haul that thing. No. It sure can't. That is quite the fire, though, I must say. I'm proud. I'm proud of you. So if you recall, yesterday, this water was beautiful and it was perfect conditions. And just one day later, look at this. Oh, if anybody needs any diesel, I know where you can get some. Oh, yeah, it does. That's a beast. Dang. Now that's a fire. The weather has definitely changed. But it's actually nice and cool. Huh. It's kind of neat to go from 80 degrees to yeah. 50. Wow, I cannot believe how big of a difference the weather is today from yesterday you guys see in the video it was just beautiful and today's cool uh, only for the fact that it changed so drastically uh, the wind is just hail and now I mean I'm, I'm guessing you got good 25 35 uh, mile an hour winds and these trees are just bending I was hoping to come down here and get a good shot of the uh, lake and of course I knew I wasn't gonna be able to see the mountain because it's just too nasty out but I think I'm gonna get a very good photo either, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, but yeah, the weather change was just crazy for one day. I haven't seen nothing like that in a long time. Just cooking. 
cooking. But now the rain's coming, just heard some thunder. So uh, it's getting really nasty out here really quick. Time to pack it up. That did not last long. That was uh, quite the storm that's coming in here. And again, that's the cool part about uh, this time of year. Is one day you can have 80 degrees, the next day it's storming. And uh, this is quite the storm. That definitely did not go as planned. Uh, just f 10 minutes ago, I mean, it was windy, but now all of a sudden that range is picking up and it is nasty. I mean, it had to be blowing 40, 50 miles an hour and some of these trees were swaying and I wasn't wanting to get caught underneath one of those. So uh, cool to see the storm, had some thunder hit, uh, but uh, just not able to get a good photograph. There just isn't uh, anything really to see at this point. Uh, the Mount Hood is uh, tucked back behind the clouds, so you can't even see it anyway. Uh, had it been a clear day, it would have been pretty cool. Yesterday, you know, I had a chance um, to see it. I got the drone up in the air and uh, got a pretty good shot, but not quite the same as being down here and seeing the lake and the mountain behind it. So anyway, a good place to come next time uh, when the weather's better. But this has actually been kind of fun to go from uh, one extreme to the other. Uh, you don't normally run into that very often around here. It's usually uh, pretty consistent. feel really bad for the folks in tents tonight. Uh, not only just because of the wind, but this rain, it's pouring really good right now, and it's gonna be a mud fest. Luckily, we got the trailer, and um, if we need the heat, we can heat it up and uh, stay nice and comfortable, but tenting out today, I don't think anybody expected uh, to have this kind of weather. They did say that we could expect uh, about a quarter inch of rain, but I think they're expecting that more in the Portland Metro and not up here on the Hood River, Mount Hood area where we are now. So I think some people might have gotten caught off guard here with the weather, unfortunately. Hey, why are you under the awning? <laughs> I had a killer fire going too. Look at that. What happened to your friend? She ditched me. Why? Because she... it started raining and thunder and lightning and the trees are swaying and so she left. <laughs> I'm not sure we're gonna be able to hear that on this uh, video, but that is some crazy loud thunder. And we don't get thunder very often, so when we do, that was pretty cool. Definitely continuing to rain on us. It goes away, comes back, goes away, comes back. So I'm gonna cook uh, some sausage under the awning for dinner tonight. Uh, so we're gonna have some uh, sausages, some uh, potato salad. We were gonna cook up uh, some mac and cheese too, but we needed the generator to run the microwave and we don't wanna pull the generator out with all this rain. So uh, we'll be good with some sausage and what have you. So. Anyway, um, Saturday night dinner coming up. Fantastic, worthy Northwest IPA out of Bend, Oregon. It's a fantastic IPA if you enjoy IPAs. Gosh dang, these dogs are, these dogs are cooking. Whoa, that was trying to fall off because we're not on level land here. Stay, mon frey. Spilling beer, that's a big party foul. That's my first one, so no excuse. Well, hello. Done with dinner. Now out for a little hike afterwards. Uh, I'm trying, finally trying to get Daisy to eat some food. It's been kind of tough lately getting her to eat and uh, hoping to get her out and walking some but she just doesn't want to move much anymore unfortunately so 
We're going to uh, try to take her for a quick little walk, see if we can get her moving again, but she's just uh, dealing with some bad hips and bad knees and what have you. So as we all do as we get older, it's unfortunate, but trying to make the best of it and seeing if we can get her to keep on moving.